Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk about authors that have really inspired my writing style. I have some books with me here today and I'm just going to explain with each author what part of their writing really stuck with me and my writing. So the first author that I'm going to start with is one of my personal favorites. It's Maria V. Snyder. She wrote the Poison Study book. The series is called the Study Series, I believe. So with the Study Series, the things that really stuck with me are her magic systems, which are really unique and interesting, as well as just the fact that she's a stickler for research, and so am I. So if I want to know about archery, I'm very likely to go and try it and like test out a bow and arrow. If I want to write about a hobby or some sort of different weapon that I haven't used before in writing, I usually either will go try it somewhere or I'll consult someone who has used that weapon before and knows a little bit more about it than I do. The next author I'm going to talk about is Kristen Cashor. So the book I have here isn't my favorite book by her, but I do still really like this one. My favorite book by her would be Graceling, especially because of the characters Katza and Poe. So they're the ones that just have really inspired me. The main things that have influenced my writing from her books were the world building. She has just these really expansive worlds that carry on from book to book. So like, the world that Fire takes place in is the same world that Graceline takes place in, but she talks about different aspects of the world. I also really like that she does like these slow burn romances. It's not just like insta-love because that drives me a little bit crazy. Um, and they have kind of like almost a love-hate thing going on, but they just grow on each other throughout the books, which I really enjoyed. And her magic worlds are unique and beautiful and expansive. So even if you're not a fan of romance, you might still like like Katza and Poe's characters just because the way the romance was developed was really, really good. And another author, and you're probably familiar with this one that inspired my writing, is Marissa Meyer. She wrote the Lunar Chronicles series. One thing that really inspired me was just the unique premises that she uses. So she does use like fairy tales, but she just completely rewrites them into something that feels really new and fresh. Although hers is a little bit more steampunk, where mine is definitely still pretty fantasy. It's not really, does, mine doesn't really have any sort of steampunk kind of feel to it. Um, so if you want like more of a TV show equivalent to what some of my writing looks like, if you've ever watched Once Upon a Time, that would be kind of similar to what I like to write. And I have one more author for you here today, well two more. Uh, for last one I have here is Sarah Addison Allen. She's really inspired me with her touch of magic and her vivid, vivid characters. But the main thing that has inspired my writing about her, the main thing that's inspired my writing when it comes to her was the fact that her characters and their magic are really tied into like their interests and what they do for a living. I've done this more with The War of the Twin Swords and the series that's going to follow it than I did with Spellbound, because Spellbound's magic system is a little bit different and there's not as many types of magic. It's more a circumstance of their birth than it is, like, personality-based. And the last book that I do not have with me is the Five Ancestors series. I really loved the use of martial arts and the characters' growth and change. If you want to look up my favorite book from the series, it was Crane. She was a really interesting character that I enjoyed, and I also liked that the author doesn't really hesitate to show these darker sides of humanity and that there are consequences for the characters' actions. Like. There's no guarantee that these characters are going to live through the book. There's no guarantee that they're going to remain unscathed. But it doesn't quite go as dark as, like, um, Game of Thrones or something like that. So 
I really think that this has inspired me because I tend to write some of the darker sides of humanity as well, and I tend to lean towards the grim dark side of things when I'm writing. Uh, last ones that I'm just going to have an honorable mention because they're new books that I think are probably going to end up inspiring my writing, but as of yet they haven't. Um, this one's not so new, but the Goddess Test books, I have a thing for mythology and I really love the way that this author did them, did the mythology stories in here. So that's probably going to end up inspiring my writing when I do some mythology writing. I have one that I've done, but it's not the same type of mythology. Like this is more of like a Greek mythology and mine is more Japanese mythology. <clears throat> and then Jen Kalanita's Misfits. I really liked the character and I liked the like fairy tale academy that she created. Specifically, I really liked the fact that the characters didn't act the way you thought they were going to act. But that's all I'm going to say on that one. But that's all for now. If you liked this video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. If you'd like to check out my books, I'm going to post them below. Bye!